Harrison, Council Member Kathleen Beckman. Good evening. On my immediate right is Vice Mayor Mark Bunker. Good evening. On my immediate left is City Council Member Lena Teixeira. Good evening. Next to her is City Council Member David Albritton. Good evening. And next to him is our City Attorney, David Mark Golis. Good evening. Okay, hey, we're going to start. We're going to flip things around a little bit. We have um, Clearwater for you scholarship winners, and I understand the young ladies have a softball game at 7 p.m., so we want to get them out of here in time. So let's start with the Clearwater for Youth recognition. We have Eric Harris, the program manager. Eric, please come forward. efforts and we're very proud of that and we're so excited and we did give 30 scholarships just this week so as Eric said these are young students who are or young adults who are excited to be students in college trade schools and we're here to honor them tonight and introduce you to them so uh, I also want to thank those who were on the council and uh, mr. mayor for attending the ballpark Festivities. I know uh, Council Member Texera, you were there, and All Britain. How did I miss you? And uh, and then of course our city manager. Thank you so much for being there, and our two uh, co-city managers, assistant city managers. Thank you for attending that. We're very appreciative of that. So let's get started, and and we'll meet our Countryside High students. So um, Alexa Pole, Alexis Pole. So Alexa comes to us from Countryside with a 3.2 GPA. She plays volleyball and softball. Could you tell? <laughs> and uh, on her way to a game tonight. She is on the honor roll, and she had a very interesting statement in her uh, essay. And she is an entrepreneur at heart. She grew up in concession stands with her mom and dad working them. And she is great with finances and math. And she's looking forward to putting that to use as uh, she furthers her career. Thank you, Alexis. Yeah. Um, next we have uh, Tyronique Griffin. And Tyronique is also on her way to a softball game. She's from Countryside High, as you know, with a 3.48 GPA. And she plays varsity volleyball, softball. And what she says about sports in her essay is that it has taught her to never give up in life, which she will carry through with her career. Congratulations. Uh, Joel Men Men Menzoli, sorry Joel, hi John. Uh, Joel comes to us from Countryside High as well with a 4.4 GPA. He plays varsity soccer and um, he's on the National Honor Society. He's captain of soccer and he also is player of the season. He says being the captain of his soccer team not only highlighted the importance of leadership and resilience, <clears throat> Excuse me, but he'll have that to carry on as an invaluable lesson in life. Congratulations. Shannon Strickland. There we go. We've got all our softball girls here tonight. 4.54 GPA. She plays flag football, varsity basketball, varsity volleyball, varsity softball, and you know the list continues. She's on the National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, and she's a part of the Interact Club. Her colleges of choice are USF and SCF, and she continues to enjoy community service, and she realizes how important it is to give back to your community, and will help her grow as a person and bring other people together. Congratulations. I didn't go over their colleges, I apologize for that. What, what college are you considering? I'm decided. OK, because you have so many offers. <laughs> Alexis, what about you? Good for you. University of Florida, Joel. SBC for two years. There you go. All right. Am I missing anybody from Countryside? Oh, Sierra Lake. Where's Sierra? Oh, from Florida, but but I'm at Countryside. Thank you. You scared me there for a minute. Okay. So um, Maya Kaufman. So Maya comes to us from Clearwater High School with a 3.73 GPA, flag football, dance, and cheerleading. 
She is, uh, has received MVP for Varsity Cheer, and she has received the Maria Edmonds Hispanic Achievement Award. She is attending Florida Atlantic, yes, and she's going to be studying marketing and digital design. Thank you so much, and congratulations. Um, Terry Ann. Is Terry, did Terry, I think someone told me she wasn't coming tonight. No? Okay. She is not here. All right, so let's do Carolina Ballon. Carolina is a 3.90 GPA. She is a, co a soccer co-captain, and she is considering the University of Oregon. You're going a long way from home, girl. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And uh, next we have Mackenzie Hart. Mackenzie Hart is from Clearwater High School. I think Mackenzie just came from a game. Did she just come from a game? Yeah. <laughs> um, she has a 4.10 GPA. She plays volleyball, tennis, football, soccer, and she is in our ROTC program at school. She is the yearbook editor, and she has won the Kaufman Award for Soccer, Most Improved Player in Tennis, and she also plays uh, volleyball. Her college, are you going to university, uh, Warner University? She is, yeah, to advance her career in sports management. Congratulations to you. Brooke Haywell. Brooke here tonight? She was on her way. All right. Uh, Sienna Lee. <gasps> Sierra. Sorry about that. Sierra comes to us from Clearwater High School with a 4.32 GPA. She enjoys flag football. She's the basketball team manager. And she's on the National Honor Society, the Science National Honor Society. And she also is a CHS ambassador. She is, uh, where are you going to school? You've got a lot of penalties. There you go. <laughs> Take a bow. <laughs> she wants to be a health care provider and advocate for those who need medical attention. Perfect. Am I missing any questions? Terry Ann. Terry Ann. You got here. Yay. All right. Terry Ann. Let's find you. Clearwater High, 4.57 GPA, cross country, theater, and drama. Terry Ann has won the Joseph Carwise Student Achievement Award and MVP Women's Cross Country uh, Runner and also Dean's List. She is pending FSU, right? Pending? But um, she hopes to study environmental studies and she is matching that with theater and arts because she wants to make movies so that we can all find out how to be better to our environment. Congratulations. You're welcome. Everybody, should I get everybody? All right, well, I, I hope that you all um, congratulate these young adults with me and achievements well done. Am I missing anything? Can we introduce them to you? Would you like to go to Say, I want to thank uh, I want to thank the uh, the board of Clearwater Field does a great job. Uh, thirty percent of the thirty scholarship, at least thirty percent of the thirty scholarship winners were first time college attendees from their families. So this is really a program that's reaching out and touching people that need it. And congratulations, and Eric Harris, who you saw here, who came up first. Eric's a, a legend in basketball, Largo High School. He's a son of former County Commissioner Calvin Harris, and it's good that he's back here giving back to his community, helping serve the youth of our community. So again, congratulations, Paul. Give him another round of applause. Chief Ellers, you're up. New recruits. 